Okay, here's our setup. Two one terabyte drives. An HP desktop. Okay, we're going to restart. And we're going to see our setup screen. And then immediately after that, we are going to see the utility screen right there. On that particular screen, we need to hit Control I to enter the utility. So now I have to restart the uh, computer again. So we're going to hit Control I right there now okay so now we are at the uh, uh, this volume screen and we have the options to create a rate volume to delete a rate volume if we created one already to reset the disk to non-rate so we have two drives our information is right here they are one terabyte each, or so they say. And what we're gonna do now is gonna hit enter on create rate volume. And it's gonna give you the option to name our uh, volume. So we're gonna name it, I don't know, whatever. You can name it whatever you want, demo. Okay, let's go with demo. Then we're gonna hit enter. And it's gonna take you to the rate level. On that rate level, we are going to hit the uh, um, the arrow keys, up or down. And it's going to give you the options for for uh, rate 1, mirror, and uh, hit it again, rate 0, stripe. So we want to use the uh, rate 1 mirror. So we're going to go to rate 1 mirror, and we're going to hit enter. And then we're going to hit enter. You can see our capacity state at 921.5 gigabytes. Um, okay, so now we are at create volume, which is highlighted, and we're gonna hit enter. That's going to create our volume. We still have to go through the warnings that our data is gonna our data is gonna be lost in those disks. So you need to make sure that your disks are clean, that you don't have anything important there any important files or any information at all because everything is going to be erased then we're going to hit the letter y for yes because we want to create the volume and here is our volume uh, this is our rate id zero our volume is demo our rate level is uh, one which is mirror no stripping and our size remains at 931.5 gigabytes usable status is normal and it's going to be bootable we want to be able to install our operating system here okay since we created the volume already we are going to go we're going to hit number four for exit and it's going to ask cast the screen is going the system is going to ask us to confirm our exit so are you sure you want to exit either yes or not in case that you change your mind and you want to uh, delete the volume and, and do it some other way uh, you can always go back to this we are asked to reboot and select proper boot device okay what I'm gonna do now is going to insert the installation disk I did insert the uh, DVD the Windows DVD so we're gonna hit a key, any key. And
Now we are at the installation screen and our options are okay. Choose your uh, language, your time, and uh, this is basically just we are, gonna, we are in the U.S., so we are gonna uh, choose English and English for the United States on a time and currency format and uh, keyboard input method the U.S. So we are gonna hit next with the mouse. So, uh huh. Okay, and then we're gonna hit install now. We got we have the option to repair your repair our computer, but uh, since our drives are clean, we need to do a fresh uh, install. So we're going to install now. And from here on. And then we get to the uh, license terms. Of course, we have to accept the uh, license terms, otherwise, system will not let us go any further. Uh, we are not doing an upgrade, we are doing a clean install, so we go to custom, custom, and uh, the other side. Okay, and then Windows is going to go through a few steps. This uh, is going to take some time. Okay, so I'm going to pause this thing and then come back when it goes on 99% uh, or so and continue from there. Okay, as you can see, we are up 98%. It's going really uh, actually faster than what I thought. Uh, and from here on, it's, it's just a matter of, you know, keeping up with the prompts, uh, clicking uh, next here and then, here and there. Then, uh, of course, your computer is going to be restarting a few times before the uh, Windows installation is complete. Yes, it was going to restart in a few seconds, or you can restart now. Uh, you don't really have to do it, it doesn't take forever, so I'm going to do it on its own. And uh, starting again. So you just let go, don't hit anything. The system should go by itself. It's set up, it's updating registry settings. Now services are starting and it's going to complete your uh, the installation. And it tells you, as it tells you here, your computer will restart several times during uh, installation. Uh, so pretty much everything is uh, just a matter of waiting. Maybe a screen uh, here and there that you might have to uh, click uh, next, but nothing major. So
Okay, now we're gonna type a name for our computer. So we're gonna call it demo. So that's what we name our uh, volume. And we're gonna hit next. Right there. And then we're going to use the recommended settings. And uh, date and time seems to be let's just change it to uh, uh, what is central time right here central time US and Canada and time seems to be accurate date is accurate and time is accurate so we click next okay at this time we are not going to uh, mm, set up a wireless uh, connection so we're gonna skip that and Windows is going to finalize settings okay So the computer is going to restart again. Again, ignore those uh, screens. Ignore the, uh, ignore that too. And here we are. In my case here, I need to up, uh, get the uh, all the drivers for the graphics card. So we have Windows 7 Professional, Service Pack 1, 64-bit, and uh, on our demo PC. As you can see, it's not showing my graphics card, so for that, I'm gonna have to get the uh, the drivers. I'm gonna try screen resolution. Okay, let's see if it works. Keep the changes. Okay, well, much better. much better so our uh, rate volume is done and uh, it looks like it took us about well less than an hour <clears throat> now just a matter of getting some uh, drivers for the graphics card and uh, getting the uh, windows updates and that's all for now thank you